What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we compared the ballistic data of the standard Browning X-Bolt 2 Speed 308 with a 22 inch barrel and the Speed SPR, which is the suppressor ready model that has an 18 inch barrel. When I planned that video, I personally wanted to see the ballistic difference between the standard speed rifle and the SPR model with the suppressor on it because that's how I'm gonna use it. When I was editing that video, I said to myself, I should have gotten the data on the SPR without the suppressor. Sure enough, many of y'all asked for it, so ask and you shall receive. I shot the SPR model without the suppressor and have the ballistic data right here. Let's dive in. Just like in the last video, I did a three shot sequence with three different bullet weights and took the average of the three shots to compile the data. I used three ammo options with an even spread in bullet weights, the 150 grain Browning BXS, the 165 grain Long Range Pro Hunter, and the 180 grain Silver Series ammo. Let's start with the 150 grain Browning BXS ammo and as you can see on the chart on the screen, I carried over the data from the standard 22 inch barreled speed rifle and the SPR version with the 18 inch barrel with the suppressor installed. And I added the column of this rifle, the SPR 18 inch barrel without the suppressor. So if we start with muzzle velocity, went down to 2642.6. That's the average of the three shots I took and that's down almost 40 feet per second from the this same rifle with the suppressor installed. Our 100 yard energy is 1991 without the suppressor, down about 58 foot pounds of energy. Um, now 300 yards, if you remember in the last video, if you watched it, 300 yards is about the maximum distance that I'll take a shot here on the farm I hunt in Missouri. It's about the farthest shot I've got. So that's why I chose 300 yards. Um, our drop at 300 yards went down another point, was that point six inches of drop from just removing the suppressor off this rifle. And if we look at the 300 yard energy, uh, we got 1377 foot pounds of energy at 300 yards. So we lost about 53 foot pounds of energy. Now we also have the maximum yards that we still achieve 1,000 foot pounds of energy. And that's kind of the unofficial standard that a lot of people claim takes to anchor a deer. Of course, that's debatable. We're gonna go with it for the purpose of this video because we did it in the last video. And with the SPR 18 inch barrel without the suppressor, we still achieve 1,000 foot pounds of energy out to 470 yards, but that is 20 yards less than if we have the suppressor on it. So one other row that I added here to this chart is a few of you mentioned the minimum feet per second for bullet expansion at distance. And that's a good point because I forgot to add that to the chart in the last video. Some bullets require 1500 feet per second, while others might require over 2000 feet per second. So we'll go with the maximum yards. Uh, each bullet is still at 2000 feet per second. And the speed, standard speed with a 22 inch barrel, the maximum yards we still have 2000 feet per second is out to 370 yards. The SPR 18 inch barrel with the suppressor installed, we're at 335 yards. And then without the suppressor, we're down to 315 yards. So taking that suppressor off, we lose 20 yards and maintaining that 2000 feet per second. So let's dive into the Long Range Pro Hunter. All right, on the 165 grain Long Range Pro Hunter, our muzzle velocity average of the three shots was 2554.2. So we lost almost 15 feet per second by removing the suppressor. Uh, our 100 yard energy out there at 2046 foot pounds of energy at 100 yards. We dropped 23 foot pounds of energy, 300 yard drop from removing the suppressor is an additional 0.2 inches, not too bad, about a quarter an inch. Uh, 300 yard energy down to 1460, we lost 31 foot pounds of energy. Uh, maximum yards 
We're 1,000 foot-pounds of energy. We're at 515 yards, so lost five yards there. And then the maximum yardage that we still achieve, 2,000 feet per second, almost 300 yards at 295 yards, but we lost 10 yards on our uh, speed. Jumping over to the 180 grain Silver Series ammo, our muzzle velocity is down to 2,547.1 feet per second on our three shot average. So we lost almost 39 feet per second, roughly. Our 100 yard energy, we're down to 2,166. So that's 63 foot pounds of energy at 100 yards. Our 300 yard drop, 17.2 inches. So a little over a half an inch, 0.6 inch more drop when we take the suppressor off. Our 300 yard energy, we're at 1456, so we lost 55 foot pounds of energy at 300 yards. Maximum yards that we maintain 1000 foot pounds of energy, 480, so we lost 15 yards by taking the suppressor off. And then our maximum yards were 2000 feet per second without the suppressor is 250 yards. So we lost 20 yards by removing the suppressor. So that's your data. I'll be honest, the ballistics dropped off more than I thought it would on the 18 inch barrel without the suppressor. It doesn't affect me because it was either gonna be the standard speed with the 22 inch barrel or the SPR with the 18 inch barrel and the suppressor installed. Factoring in the maximum yardage for the 2000 feet per second minimum doesn't affect me either. As I said, 300 yards, that's the farthest I'm gonna shoot at a deer where I hunt here in Missouri. The Silver Series ammo did drop below 2,000 feet per second inside 300 yards, but I'm probably going to use the Long Range Pro Hunter with this rifle, and it carries 2,000 feet per second beyond 300 yards, so I'm good there too. Does this new data in this video influence your decision about hunting with a short barrel or long barrel rifle? Maybe the additional feet per second you get with the suppressor encourages you to add one to your hunting rifle. Let me know what you think. I'm definitely curious to find out. I do appreciate y'all sticking around. We'll see you next time.